Right now I'm sat inside my Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus and tonight, despite having a lovely comfortable bed just a few metres behind me, I will be sleeping in this car, which I've never done before. So we'll be finding out what it is like for someone who is slightly above average height at six feet tall sleeping in a Tesla. Let's find out. We are also sponsored by Squarespace, which is the best platform for building websites, portfolios and online stores. All right, very first thing that we need to do is get the seats down get the duvet in and let's find out can I fit comfortably in it so to put the seats down there are little clips here but if I try and put them down at the moment they get stuck on the seats in front which obviously isn't a problem because there's not going to be someone sleeping in the back when you're driving so let's push the seat forward we'll go as far forward as we can go just to make sure that there's enough room actually I'll probably not be able to get back out uh, we'll leave it there <laughs> is this enough room oh yeah there's loads of space let's do the same on this side as well okay here we go oh there it is Let's remove the boot cover. And then I've got to, hello. <laughs> I've got to line this single duvet first. So they actually sell specially made mattresses that fit here. And I emailed a few companies trying to get a free one, but none of them responded. So I'm just going to use one of my spare duvets instead. Need a few cushions, obviously. Two for my head. There we go. And one to cuddle on, you know, in case I get a bit lonely. And then finally, <laughs> I've got the double duvet that's going to keep me nice and cozy. Okay, first impressions, obviously I've not gone in yet, but this does look like it's gonna be a little bit tight. I suppose that does go pretty far, so I'm sure I'll manage, but this bit looks like it might be a bit constricting for my legs. This doesn't move, by the way. These things here are just little handles for you to hook stuff onto. <laughs> right, let's give this a go. I'm hoping none of my neighbors are currently watching. Right, okay. Um, <laughs> I have banged my ass on this thing already, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, actually, oh, once you're in, you sorted. This is me straight, so I'm just a tiny bit too tall. But I don't sleep like a plank, I sleep kind of cuddled up a bit like this. Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. All right, let's get the car in the garage and I'll see you tonight. Okay, <laughs> this is it. So I have a really small garage, by the way, if you're new here. We're in. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit cold, so I think the very first thing that we're gonna do is just crank the heating up. Let's go to 25, 25 degrees centigrade. So it feels pretty odd to be in here. When I told my mum that I was sleeping in the car tonight, she thought that me and Becky had fallen out. <laughs> anyway, let me go through everything that I've got for my little adventure this evening. My adventure of sleeping in my car in my garage underneath my bedroom. We have a big pint of water because it's important to stay hydrated. We've got some delicious fizzy bubblegum laces. Three for a pound at Tesco, value you can't say no to. But hey, don't think I'm having sugary things without brushing my teeth afterwards. The toothpaste is already on the toothbrush because we've only got one bottle in the house and you know becky needs hers so we'll keep this out the way over here <laughs> this is really weird look at this got a little eye mask thing that'll be nice I, I never use an eye mask but i thought it'd look nice for the video got a little cup for well if you must know it's to spit in when i brush my teeth got my phone charger there's about five usb ports in this car so that's not a problem got some lip balm because my lips always get dry on a night then i've got my pajamas which i thought it would be funny to try and change into from within the car and also an extra blanket and my dressing gown as well <laughs> Right, I'm too warm at this point. Let's move it down to, should we say 22? Yeah, let's go 22. Uh, well, now what do I do? <laughs> right, we're going to get our pyjamas on. So, um, immediate thoughts. Uh, this is pretty tight. <laughs> But obviously right now I'm more restricted than if I was in a field camping somewhere Because rather than having to climb over the seats to get here I'd just get out the car and get in the back Whereas that's a bit of a faff on with how tight my garage is But I do reckon that once I'm settled and I'm in I'll be really nice and comfortable Okay, let's get our pyjamas on, shall we? Yes, that'll be not weird at all Get me socks off, don't need those anymore, do we? Alright, I'm now just undressing on camera Brilliant <laughs> So I guess you could see this as the teaser for 24 hours in a Tesla, which as soon as the lockdown's lifted, I want to do a video where I can't leave the car for 24 hours. But I just think that'll be way funner when I can drive about and I can set challenges like go watch the sunrise, that kind of thing, you know what I mean? So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss that. But yeah, we do upload twice a week on this channel, so if you like Teslas, do consider subscribing. Okay, can we get my pyjama bottoms on? Let's find out. Uh, Becky, when you're editing this, might be worth checking that you can't like see my dong in the reflection of the glass anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as expected, this board is a bit constricting. But hey, I'm in now, I'm in. Look at this, I'm having an absolute delightful time. Oh, hey, up, oh, hey, up. Oh. <laughs> and we are successfully wearing 
some pajamas. So once again, from this angle, let me just lie myself straight. So this is where I end up. So if I was to take these cushions away, you can see that my head does end up off the end of the chairs because the, uh, the chairs end here. But when you've got the cushions here, that's not a problem. And if I have my feet bent slightly, yeah, I am comfortable here. Well, uh, now I'm all cozy and ready for bed. Should we watch some YouTube videos or something? Yeah, okay. So this is the bit that's kind of fiddly. <laughs> it's getting, getting... We did it, we did it, we did it. Oh. Oh. We did it. How far can I have this seat back when I've got the back seats down? Let's find out. Obviously, I don't want to damage anything, and we've got the cushions there at the minute. Oh, I can have them down really far. So you could have someone sleep on that side and someone sleep in the front, maybe? I don't know. Oh, guys, hello? I was just starting to relax and then my GoPro fell over and walked us right up again. I've just pushed my seat back the max that it can go and I actually have a, a nice amount of leg room here to kind of slouch down and really kind of relax. But anyway, as I slurp on my final fizzy bubblegum flavour lace, I think this is probably quite a nice time to hear from today's sponsor! Squarespace is the best platform for building a website. Whether you want to set up an online portfolio, show for your photography, create an online store, start a podcast or one of these other things, Squarespace has hundreds of fancy templates to get you started. Do you want to send emails to everyone that joins your website? You can do that with email companies. Campaigns. You want to look at analytics so you can see how many people have viewed your website and what they did with it? You can do that too. Once your website's ready to go live, you can even purchase a professional domain from Squarespace directly. And if you use code Jack Massey Welsh, you'll get 10% off this purchase. So head to squarespace.com slash Jack Massey Welsh to get started. Thank you for the sponsor. Okay, so the time is 11.47pm. Watched about half an hour of YouTube, thoroughly enjoyed it. But I'm getting to the point now where I feel like I'm not going to start getting tired if this garage light is on. Obviously, I've got as many lights on as possible for the video, but I think I'm going to set myself a challenge of trying to turn the garage light off without leaving the car. So the light switch is that thing over there. So I'm going to lean out the window, hopefully, if I can do this without breaking my car. Okay. easy so my thoughts so far are this is a bit tight staying in your car and camping in it but it's 100 percent manageable it's 100 percent possible oh i've just come up with a fun activity it's called activate the voice control with your foot all right open glove box huh huh close glove box with your foot oh that's a that's a struggle Whoa. <laughs> oh <laughs> It's midnight and I'm sat in a Tesla closing the glove box with my feet. Right, I've got a good one. Let's see if we can activate the Monty Python foot Easter egg with my foot. Right, I think all I'll need to do is click that and then click save. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun. Is it? Is it morning yet or...? <laughs> I think at this point it's just time to brush my teeth and get ready for bed. <laughs> I've never done this before. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for the sleeping bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to camp mode, which means that the car will just keep the air conditioning on all night. Camp mode stops at 20%, but because we're currently on charge, it'll just go forever, I suppose. Feels a bit warm to me, so I'm going to turn it down to 18, maybe. We'll just have the air con pointed upwards. So now it's time to get to bed. Take me bottle, chuck me phone, don't forget me blanket. And now all that's left is me. Uh. Okay, I want my blanket over me, and I want the duvet over the top. And then I can't sleep unless I've like got hold of something like this pillow. Surely I'm not the only one out there that's like that. Alright, this is what I'll be like. Yeah, that works. So this is quite hard because it's just the seats under this duvet. So what I might do is kind of fold myself up in the top duvet. Oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> like a little cocoon. Oh, this is the dream. I banged my head, I banged my head. So apparently they're shooting stars tonight and the Tesla's got a big, nice open glass sunroof thing. But unfortunately we are just in a garage. <laughs> 
but it would have been nice hey that's that's me just there um so you're not really going to be able to see how much space i've got down here so as i said this thing kind of constricts you when you're moving around but once you're actually in you've got you know you've got plenty of room to move i think i'd be more comfortable with two cushions yeah, two cushions is a lot better because I think my head was just tipping backwards a bit more than it needed to. Yeah, I could definitely sleep here comfortably. So this clip's been recording for seven minutes and in about 11 minutes, the camp mode interface should come on, which I'm really excited about. Hang on, let me get a picture. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay, camp mode should activate very soon now, hopefully. Oh, there it is. There we go. <laughs> There's something so sweet and relaxing about that picture. I hope that you could see it from this angle. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna head off then. This is the, the the sleeping bit. This is what it all comes down to. So I am noticing that my whole body is just on a bit of an upward angle. So my head being at the highest point, just because these seats don't lie completely flat. So obviously that is different to what I'm used to, but I don't think it should be a problem. All right, good night, everybody. Good night. Hey, so it's been like an hour, maybe, and the air's getting a bit cold. So I was thinking what a faff on it would be for me to have to get out of my cocoon and get up to the front and change it. But then I remembered I can change the temperature from within the Tesla app. So I can turn off camp mode if I want, but I don't want to. I just want to increase the temperature a little bit. So we'll go from 15 to 17.5. I think that'll do. In terms of how I'm getting on in the car, I think being six foot is ever so slightly too tall. I want to be able to straighten out and I just can't quite straighten out without having my feet pressed against the back of the boot. And then they're kind of at a bit of a bad angle. I'm going to manage. I will be able to sleep. And I reckon I'd probably be more comfortable in here than I would be in a tent if I was camping. But it's definitely not the most comfortable that I've ever been. Anyway, good night. No, oh, no, that's the wrong way. That's the wrong way. Turn it down. Turn it down. Okay. Good night. <laughs> good morning. The time is 9.29. I didn't sleep. Oh, God. I didn't sleep perfectly, but then I managed to get myself at this this lovely angle right at the end where I'm at a diagonal and I can actually lie straight. And that's what made all the difference. So my last like two hours of sleep were very comfortable. Right, I've had a message from Becky that she's going to bring a coffee in. Oh, we are. Uh, one minor thing that I guess is a slight issue is that you can't actually access the screen unless you're in the driver's seat because it doesn't think anyone's here. For some reason, the driver's seat takes priority, so I'll swap the light around. There we go, look, see, as soon as I put some pressure on the uh, on the driver's seat, everything comes on. My coffee's empty, don't worry about it. I think if I was to do this next time, I shouldn't be on charge because it just makes a lot of unnecessary noises that keep you awake. Oh, me, me neck does hurt a bit, I won't lie. But I was kept a really nice temperature and then camp mode's been turned off for the past three hours. So I only woke up about three times. So all in all, it was absolutely fine. Once again, let's warm ourselves up. <sighs> all right, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Uh, it was, it was, uh, it was different. I don't know how it's going to all turn out with all of the different clips and stuff and me just being by myself the whole time, but hopefully you got some enjoyment out of it. Thanks a lot, Squarespace, for sponsoring this video. And if you've made it to this point in the video, you'll probably enjoy our other stuff. So make sure you do subscribe because we do upload twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. This is empty. I just thought it'd be funny for the video. <laughs>